this is Thursday. My video has been rendered three rendered. This is helping with me rendering. Uh, three times and the third time was not the charm. It still wasn't working. So I'm inserting this just as an update. I'm gonna try it again. Probably the last time. I'm redoing everything and uh I'm going to be cutting a lot of the crap out. Probably the first box of records that I show, they're just like crap anyway. Um, there was a couple things, but I'm just going to edit that whole section out. Shorten the video down, make sure it's not too long so it's running over an hour and like five minutes, four minutes the last time. And maybe my computer can't handle it, maybe the program, I don't know. But we'll see. Here's whatever. These are pretty good. home late from the auction so I decided to do one thing because I probably won't go out and do the band tonight. I don't feel that great. Besides I've had my head stuffed up all day from the auction. It's cleared up some but uh, yeah so I don't know if I'm going to do much. Hopefully I won't go through too much without filming it. Well I paid $27.50 for this box of pa or <laughs> box, this album of patches. Uh, Star Wars Bill gave me 10 bucks for three that I didn't really want it, but, uh, I didn't need it. Anyway, there's police training program. I guess the stuff was all some Lady Ray knew, and, uh, there's another police. I got figure all these police badges. A lot of the stuff I'm going to lot up, and I'll check out a lot of it online, make sure it's not worth a lot, but there's quite a few interesting things in here. There's Marine Corps, 89 Marathon, Emergency, there's just... A lot of stuff in this thing. Ohio Herpetology Societies, I guess that's for snakes. <laughs> uh, Universal Firearm Shooters Club, Federal Ammunition, Ammunition. I'm thinking there might be a few good ones in here. There were so Harley Davidson Police. Harley Davidson, that's pretty cool. Beretta. Cool. There's another Harley Wing. See, there's a lot of gun related. There's just swimming. So I figured if I put all the police and gun stuff in lots, I should be able to get pretty good money. B P B P A Syndrome Fighter. Only the best. Huh. That's weird. Be a sport. There's a couple of this one. Commando Arms. Semi Mark Auto. Huh. Jamboree 99. Lancaster. Right, or Fine American Firearms, another one, Police Markson, there's a one that's probably another, it's got a bullseye, so I'm assuming there's a hiking one, uh, NRA, Safe Hunter, Rucker, or Ruger, sorry, Rucker Howard, ha, <laughs> uh, Whale Protection Fund, Save Water, Shower with a Friend, ha, <laughs> uh, Oh, that's a space shuttle patch. That's pretty cool. Huh. Oh, it's got the crew out. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. I'm going to lay that out. Uh, Reptile Ranch. I don't know where that is. Uh, looks like uh, Predonia Fire Department. NA. And it looks like an airline, but I'm not sure what it is. Uh, Builder, Build Better Boys, Erie, PA. There's a lot of stuff. Crazy. I'm going to have to do a video just on a dirty, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know who it is. Tinkerbell. Instructional choke, oh, instructor chokehold? Wow. Annual beaver sale, Marionville annual beaver sale. There's a golden, uh, ram. I'm not sure what the, I think it's the vehicle, but I don't know. There's another snake one. SWAT. There's a lot of stuff. Animal control. Um... I don't know what Mossberg. Is that a gun, maybe? I don't know. Um, there's a couple of those. Another collector's firearms collector's thing. Uh, that's a large patch. That's got to have some value. The Mura, Murray Building, 95. I don't know what that is. This one is interesting. Pennsylvania Newspapers Publishers Association. Outstanding Newsboy Awards. And that's pretty old, and that's felt. Woodsy Owl, Pollution Patrol, here's a sealed animal, oh no, it's just in a bag, Animal Rescue Specialist, there's a butterfly, oh, getting towards the end, Handyman Club of America, lifetime member, and there was a bunch of these National Street Machine Club, there's two right here, there's some more stuff, um, Fire, oh, National Fire or Rifle Association, 
There's a little sailboat looking one. I don't know what that is. Um, uh, Gatlingburg security. Motor officer, police. That's pretty neat. I think some of these are given to somebody and they must have kept them. But, um, there's neat patch there. There's more of those National Street machines. A couple of them. So there's the book, but some of the stuff fell out, so I got this pile of crap. Um, Blue Thunder, oh my god, cool. Another Woodsy Pollution Patrol, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum, doesn't say where. Well, it looks like a, probably an early one. There's another one, Street Machines. There's the things Bill didn't seem to want these Star Trek insignias. Ah, ready to go. Uh, what is this one that fell with it? Oh, National Honor Society. Uh, advanced Life Saving. Another special police type one. Welch's Quality Grapes. That's cool. Uh, we Need Wildlife. Glady or Gladys Porter Zoo, Brownsville, Texas. Huh, that's cool. I've found a lot of zoo patches recently. It doesn't seem to be a lot out there. There's a lot offered, but I think the mom are new. Ruger. Another law enforcement products, though. That's pretty cool. That's special only for police. Uh, there's a lot of police out there, so it can't be that rare. Lake Placid, 1980. Aiming for Olympic gold, 84 U.S. shooting team. That's cool. This little Cub Scout patch is in there. Uh, Pennsylvania Game Commission, Hunter, Trapper Education, another one of them street machines, and then a environmental discovery, Pennsylvania State Parks. So there's all that stuff. And I think that's it. And I have a book of stickers, too, which I haven't even looked through. I missed it. I was so busy with these patches, I just got down at the table and walked on. I even let some little girl buy a box of cards for only $2 a box that were left over on that one table. I got another Robbie Claw or Robbie Robot. What am I yakking about? Anyway, there. There's them. Well, here I am on a Thursday. My Monday video would not render again after another attempt at it. I redid all but the beginning. I don't know. It went over an hour, which is too damn long anyway. So, I, uh, gonna read this. my book of stickers. Oops, I just gave away my prize sticker out of the whole book, so I probably won't even show the rest of the book, but I found a burn sticker, and I'm gonna put 20 bucks on it. So the 11 I spent on the book is okay i don't know it might actually be worth a little more it's an original 84 one on uh, some of his earlier stuff like this is worth something now because it's probably scarce but and i went through all these stickers i didn't like it because it was about as dark as the patch one so i don't know whoops and uh just gonna flip through it real quick there's this there's a star trek that's not a sticker <laughs> Uh, I think this is all going to go to the flea market. I'll probably take the stickers out of the book and just charge a dollar a piece or something. And there's some Custu, Cust, Cust, oh my gosh, Jacques Cousteau Society. Um, yeah, I'm frustrated, can you tell? Uh, some other cool stuff in here, Moot Club. Uh, I'm going to do this quick because I want to cut this video way down. There was a McDonald's beak album that's falling apart. They're not that rare. Uh, some car related, there's a lot of gun related, these car ones are pretty neat. A few of them I will take out because they're a little uniquer, uniquer, <laughs> more unique than the, some of the other ones, so, uh, I, I looked up most of the patches and there just wasn't a lot of value in most of them, so, I mean, not for me to put them on eBay, unless I already said that, I edited the patch one quite a bit, so. But, uh, like I said, there's some neat stuff. A couple of snowmobile related and some other stuff. I'd like to lot them out for eBay, but I think it would just be easy for me to take them to the flea market. Maybe for this weekend and let them go through them. Eagle Valley environment. And then whatever I have left, I think I'm just going to put them all in one big lot. It looks disgusting. <laughs> uh, people just don't take care of other people's great collectible items. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed my other two videos I've already uploaded since this one started getting made. A lot of gun control and gun related things in this book, so I'm hoping they'll do well up at Waterford. There's a lot of gun guys up there. So. Uh, Gem City Gun Club, quite a few. I, I don't know if that's that old, but most of the stuff in this book's pretty vintage. I don't think probably anything past the 90s. Uh, Wells Fargo, so there's a lot of security things.
There's a bunch of these. I think it's a teacher's organization, but then I started watching. I'm not really sure if that's what it is or not. Maybe it's military. There's not a lot of them, so I thought possibly that'd make sense at the school. They get a lot of patches, and some of them gave the kid then. Because you collect patches, here's a hundred of the same one. <laughs> Rocket 101, I think that reminds me of Crawford County Fair. Or is that Jet FM that used to be over there? NRA, I vote, Wilderness. Hey, there's just mostly stuff. It wasn't that great. Probably the box the little girl got had better stuff in it. Probably a whole thing of earnest stuff. Uh, but that's it. So, now back to the old program. Again. Alright, finally getting around to making my video. I think I slept half the day. I was tired today. Uh, well, there's a box. That had. What was in there? Something I took out already. Oh, my banks. I'm not sure if I showed them. I'll show them later if I didn't. We'll do it now, mister. Cindy? Yeah, Cindy gave me this stuff. Uh, just I was going to buy them for a couple bucks, but I didn't, and she ended up getting the last of the lot and gave them to me. A uh, little model kit of the car. I didn't really know. Um, San Francisco cable car by Hawk. It's tape. No, it's not tape yet. I think it was complete. There's a, a Bloxo puzzle. Huh, I don't know. And here's another puzzle peg thing. Twelve dollars. I haven't got an owl on it. Both these have owls. Which is nice. so, well, I suppose there's probably some pegs missing in this, but I'll have to check them out. Anyway, here's that. There's a couple of puzzles. Oh, this stuff fell out. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I'm for that map. This is a, uh, a Grumman Duck. I don't see those very much. Seaplane like. So, Navy and Coast Guard during World War II. 19, first appearance in 1933 was the workhorse of the Navy and Coast Guard. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, now let's see. Um, I got a couple things. Two box. Well, I got these cards. I got the last bit of two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> Uh, I got these cars, Javi, uh, and the Don, the Pink Floyd guy, we, he counted one deck and I counted the other. No jokers, but the decks are full, so maybe they didn't have jokers. Um, no, these usually aren't worth much, but this is kind of a cool Pella case in the war. It's a Japanese one. It's got Japan on it. Oh, there's an Elvis 8-track in there. I end up buying the end of the lot, so I got whatever was in that, but there wasn't... I don't know, I think it's in that box right there, what I took of it. This bottle was also in the box, which I'm glad I got. It's Thomas McMullen and Company, white label. There's also a sign on there, Dobb Associates Incorporated. So that's kind of cool. It's a little rusted, but that's the thing I always heard a sign. Man, the lot also had a... Yeah, that cross is neat. Uh, also had, I got the Hershey cocoa can and a cat plant planter. Eh, looks okay. I don't have any names. Probably like a hall or something. Uh, oh, and this was also with the cat. A stagecoach planter, which I'm sure I can probably sell up at the flea market. It's a floor craft, so it probably was from a florist. Duh. <laughs> Uh, my phone's lying in the sun again. Paid 15 for the sign. I almost went higher. It's 50 years of service to the motorist. 19 it's for the AAA. 
But what's funny is that there's only one on eBay, and the guy got 118 bucks on it. Some idiot scratched it. There were some lights. I see there's scratch scuffs across it. But I don't know. It could be worse. I think it also probably wasn't bent. Probably there was something on it, and instead of lifting it up properly, they just yanked it and bent it up a little bit. There was quite a few coat pens at the end of that. But these were, yeah, these were, oh no, these were with the things. I just said that, didn't I? But I got quite a few of them. That one's empty. I can throw that out. Uh, they're falling out of the container. These bubbles don't always stay on. They're very good. But originally they were six ninety seven at Kmart. <laughs> okay, what else we got in this mess? Ah, there's my Wii Minions remote control thing. I got it with sale on the weekend, which I'm proud to uh, say that I've on my investment for a three-day sale that I went to, I spent well, I spent 25 or so the third day, and I bought this I bought Marvel figures. I guess I didn't make a video. I don't always make videos of everything, <laughs> but I sold all the figures at the flea market, most of them, and I made over my money back on just that stuff. So whatever else I got that day is good. Um, yeah, the uh, but uh, I have an item on right now. They paid a dollar for, and it's over 300. So, and it still has two days. So I'm hoping it works out good, and the buyer, the winner, doesn't stiff me or something. Sometimes you get that on odd items like that. Usually it's video games. But this is some leftover stuff I got at the end of the lot, because this has a theatrical cold cream can in it, and it still has cold cream that's all shriveled up. <laughs> I don't know if I got that at the end of the lot. I think I did. I don't remember for sure, though. I'll have to check my slip. I think this is a blade sharpener. I don't know if they have any value. I don't think anybody looked it up. So. Uh, there's a decanter. I got this light shade for $2, but I think this one I'm going to sell with the fixture. It's pretty cool. Here's a cheer up bottle. They used to have some value, but I don't know anymore, but it still will sell at the flea market. There's a Greg's Beverages. I remember drinking them when I was a kid. It probably had a cheer up too. I don't even remember. Oh, and this has uh, lid and everything for this. I don't think it's worth much, but people don't really pay attention. Oh, it's a Limoges. Probably chipped or something. Uh oh, here's Thunder. No electric tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Co op Electric. Anyway, that's actually pretty nice looking. It probably has no value. But. Uh, and there's some salt and pepper shakers that are little trains. Well, well, it's not trains. It's one train. And it's got the car. I haven't looked to see if it's chipped. Is it chipped? It's a brownware, or whatever you call that. Um, oh, look at that. Arcade and Attica Railroad. They bought the whole. Somebody should have been paying more attention because I probably will sell it for that at least. That is awesome. They sold that right at the train place as a souvenir and souvenir. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Bill gave me some of this crap. That's where I got. I didn't get the train from him, I don't think. That was mine. But I took some of the stuff in this box of stuff that Bill didn't want. I don't remember what all was. Not Bill's. I might have, there was a couple wine balls I left. I don't know. I can't remember now. But this was one of the things Bill gave me. The uh, Gregory. Uh, Greg. A Georgian glass, and it's red, so, and I don't see any chips. It's got some issues right here on the inside, but I think that's just some crud that'll clean off. It's funny when you see eBay auctions and people do not clean stuff at all. I mean, I can see some stuff. I guess it's like a sphere. You don't clean old metal, you'll ruin it or whatever. But, you know, when it's something like cookware, it's disgusting when you don't clean it. Or even your figurines you can clean. I mean, basic stuff. I just don't get it. Toy Transformer. Uh, Marks, huh? I'm gonna turn it on, see if it br blows up in my face or shuts off all my electric or whatever. And I'll sell it to somebody. This brass bell's worth the brass. This video's gonna be too long. Got uh, a tea strainer, which I would wouldn't want to use, but anyway, uh, I guess. Oh, and I've got this. If anybody's into? Uh, uh, oh my God, I'm gonna end up breaking my trains.
I got this. I'm going to take it to the, uh, or the flea market, probably, is what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'll even turn it on to see if it I might plug it in, at least, at least see if it powers up. I'm buying it. Gonna, I guess I could hook it to an old TV if it'll work on one of those. I don't have a regional monitor or anything. I mean, I do have monitors for, you know, like an early Windows thing, but, well, actually, I don't know if I have any left or not. But, We'll see. Maybe it'll come on. I, I thought the one in a box on eBay was only like $40 plus shipping. The thing weighs a ton. So we'll have to see. Um, Alright, now the records. Um, these are the, the ones I took out that are probably crap. Uh, what's good, I'll maybe throw in a dollar box, but most of them are pretty bad. Disgusting. I gave Don. <laughs> So there's what I considered the garbage. Alright, there was two records laying on the table for by itself uh, that I ended up getting run up to $11. Well, I didn't get run up because I was bidding against the kid that usually buys paper and uh, he buys magazines. Well, I didn't know and I didn't want to take a shot, so I spent the 11 to get them, but they're not really worth it. Here's a the new 180 gram style doors record, but the cover's pretty creased up, and I didn't look it over good enough because I was kind of interested in this pre cure. Oh, the cure. Oh, it's the cure. Why am I saying the pre? Stop writing in cursive! <laughs> it's cure. I actually wrote pre cure, I think, of the thing. It came up there. Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. So that record new sells for like over 30 bucks, but this is a used copy and it's not perfect, but I'm hoping, you know. You know, I'll, I'm not going to lose on this box because the doors, I'm probably going to keep it to listen to it. I may sell it later because I got some doors records. I don't need everything. Uh, and the Cure, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, I'll cool. definitely, I'm not going to probably go for less than 20 on it. So hopefully that will sell. This is the album I kept out of this other box. Was this Perth County. Hold on a second. Get some adjustments. Oh, come on, you two come out of here. I really got to get my new eyeglasses because my eyesight's getting terrible. Oh, getting terrible. That's dumb. That's been terrible. This is the album I kept that uh, Dawn wanted because I played a little bit off of YouTube and it's very weird. I don't even think I got into a song on it yet. It's Perth County Conspiracy. Um, the Drifters. I don't know how much. That's. Uh, some of these have, might have a little more value. I thought this was one of the other reasons I was going to get it. Uh-oh, I hope it's not a double record because I don't think they're both in here. No, no, aw, is it? Yes, aw, that sucks. Shoot, I'm not in the right record in here. Well, I guess I should have looked before I did it. On a, probably a reissue anyway. It might not be, though. Special record set, so I'm going print it that time. Here's uh, the line in winter, kind of cool. I think there's enough. I didn't do too bad. I paid 15 bucks for them, so that's good. Oopsie! Jack in his watermelon bumped the camera and shut me down. Um, People, the Times. Huh. See, that's cool. I've never seen this record. It's pretty dirty. That's the only bad thing about this box. A lot of stuff's just filthy. And a lot of it's rough. Nielsen sings Newman. Again, yep. Yeah, uh, songs and Piano by Randy Newman. Huh. Nice. Otis Blue, Otis Redding. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's on Bolt. Here's another one of promo ones with the big sticker stuck on it. I think I had one of these once and I was trying to peel it off because I hated it before I realized that, that you know, that's just another uh, good thing to keep. Uh, Earth, Wind, Fire. I think there's a lot of couple dollar records in here, so I'll make out pretty good as long as, like I said, they're not all beat and scratched. Spanky's Greatest Hits. Nice, hey, Spanky and our gang. I never really knew much about them. Brooklyn Bridge. Was that the ones that did Windy or something like that? 
This album looks kind of cleaner, but I don't know. Uh, worst that could happen, that's the song that's always on stuff. Welcome Me Love, Requiem, Space Odyssey, 2001, nice. Free is the wind, blessed is the rain, your kite, my kite. Okay, I've been lonely too long, which way to nowhere, peace of my heart. Uh, I'm probably going to listen to them for sure. Uh, Massacilla, what is that? Music contained here and speaks for itself. Nothing more needed to be added. All there remains to do is to do. Oh, you know something? That sounds very interesting. Maybe I can trade a... Montoya for this, if it's something he's into. I don't remember. I think he's only into like jazz and rap. So. Montoya is the guy at the flea market that I got Floyd albums from. White Plains, my baby love, loves loving. <laughs> Promotional London. Huh. You know, there's a few things in here. Wheatfield, the guess who? Wheatfield Soul. Nice. I haven't seen that album too much. Here's a six that probably if it's not beat up, I'll put in my, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to see. Is it piece of eight, right? Yeah. Not much on it. What's on piece of eight? Uh, Great White Hope. I'm okay. That's a good song. Sing for the Days. Okay. Lords of the Ring. Blue Collar Man. Renegades on this. People saying sticks isn't good. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. I thought Dennis the Young was a girl. Who was that that said that? I don't remember. Probably they're going to watch this video and get pissed off. Bob Dylan, Bring It All Back Home. I don't remember how good a shape that was in. See, there's some unusual stuff that I have not seen before. Look at this smoke at George's Coffee Shop. Wow, that is sweet. There might be some valuable stuff in here. Look at this. The Marbles promotional copy. I may have to take and put this stuff online. People at the flea market won't get a shot at it. Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. I don't know a lot about these bands because I don't run into this stuff. But, ah, just my cover's coming apart. I didn't know mind. Hey guys, sorry there. Alright, get you out of there and then the cover will go back together. And I like when I see that it's just the glue. Ah, uh, hold on. Well, that album looks pretty good inside that cover. The King's Greatest Hits, I already have a copy, but I'm going to have to check this out. And if, I don't know, the cover's not so great. I don't know how good my copy is, though. I don't really keep a lot of great-looking stuff for myself. The Best of Peter and Gordon, but I don't see... Isn't there the ones the Lady Cadiva, I thought? And it's not on there. Huh. Don't pity me, a world without love, huh. Oh, here's Dylan's Gospel, which is cool. I don't know exactly what I'm looking at here, but there's nothing on the cover. It's the plastic. I don't know whether I'm probably going to end up tearing it off. It's looking pretty shabby. But that's uh, old records, so I don't know. I think it's just somebody redoing his music, but I've never seen it before. I mean, since his picture's on both sides, I would have definitely noticed it was Bob Dylan. Uh, the Ionia Spear Monk? I don't know what the monk blue. Whoa, well, you know something? That looks pretty cool, too. Cover's ripping and the record's coming out the bottom, but. Uh, the Exciters, Caviar, and Chitlins? That is very weird. Who used to name their tag? I guess they still name albums odd. Uh, Harry. Oh, this is another Nielsen, right? Yeah. I don't know which album. It, I don't think I've ever listened to that one. Jethro Tall. I almost thought when I first saw it in here, it was, of course, Jesus Christ Superstar, but that's not a dark album. This is burgundy colored, and that's more of a brown. Jethro Tall, Living in the Past. It looks kind of dirty. I don't know how much I can clean it because it's a matte finished uh, textured cover. So. I got this Nancy. don't know anything about that. Nancy Wilson, I believe that's one of the Supremes, right? And Thick as a Brick. And that does the records, except for the few I got at the thrift store. So all that crap. <laughs> anyway, put our doors and stuff back in. I gotta take this down because if I don't get to it and I go off driving, all this stuff's gonna get broken. Ah, oh, like it did already. I better get my umbrella out. I'm gonna go to dinner. My mom's here pretty soon. She hasn't called me yet. Aww. This pen fell out of here. I don't know. I think if I have problems like that, I'm just going to take them all out of the pack. Maybe not, but... And just sell them the way they are. They don't sound good. They don't look too good. 
hear it back in the distance. I do not want to have no electric tonight. It does not sound like proper grammar. Now I bought that over the weekend. Oh, well, uh, Black Series, let's see. So at that yard sale, I ended up going to uh, Seneca, had community sales, went there. Got home and I really didn't have as much stuff as I thought. I did get some 25 cent records. So. Feed the duck target game for black. I don't know. I never tried it. I took the flea market. It does not sell for a lot, probably because of the shipping. Maybe you can still get it somewhere. It looks like it's like <laughs> forget you. On clearance. I remember to take my tote bag. I'm trying to condition myself, even though I do need bags for the flea market. Alright, I gotta redo this. Hold on. Can we see? Can they see us, Leia? Ah, you know, Leia. You gotta get out of there. Uh, is it on, Leia? Why don't you help me out sometimes? Alright. Let's slide back a little bit. Uh-oh, that storm's getting closer, Leia. You better go hide. Come on. Hold on. I gotta get this stuff out of here. Yeah, I go to th that thrift store every Monday when they're open for the auction. And I always forget it's four for a dollar for VHS, but there's like 50 cents normally, so they're only a dollar for four, and there are, some of them are half off, of course, sometimes. So I'm going, I have to always pick the right amount. Then I go to the records, I always go for four for a dollar, but they aren't, they're three for a dollar, so I have to, I had them all sorted out, the ones on sale and the ones aren't in the four lot, so I get up there, and then, of course, I get her to add all them up, and then I pull out the 45 that I picked up which is dumb because they just consider them records. I consider them 45. <laughs> but I could have used them in the whole equation. So I don't know what she ended up charging me, but I don't care. Anyway, the 45s I got was Folk Festival Sampler. Uh, this Arlo Guthrie, I kind of maybe swapped the sleeve. It wasn't any different. Neither were on sale, but I wanted the cast the longest sleeve, which Probably that sticker's gonna tear it off because I forgot. I hate, hate when they put stickers on stuff. But this uh, seven inch EP set, uh, less money, the three sons, kind of cool. For less money! Alright. Uh, and the fourth one, Beverly Hills, Axel Foley theme, kind of cool. With picture sleeve. But those were. Four, four for three for a dollar, so I got one for 49 cents. Oh, the rain's coming, so I gotta watch. I might get my stuff wet. Oh, it's gonna be one of them storms. Wow, that's gonna be fun. A little excitement in the video. I hope my camera's not getting wet. My back is. <laughs> Alright, so there's the 45s. Got one CD, open up and say ah, non censored version. Not really worth much. It's really worth 99 cents, I guess. Okay, I'll save the records for last. Here's the crappy VHS I'm always stuck with. I got eight, four at half off, and four not half off. I got a Raiders, which I should have plenty of them, but I haven't seen enough of them. And I want to do another lot of all three movies, and I have plenty of The Last Crusade. I have several, a couple of the Temple of Doom. So, and I think I have a behind the scenes now to throw in. Leia! Come on, man! Get out of there! Rain quit already? Blue over there. Okay, so Raiders. And I'm working on I have a bunch of these stupid Land Before Times in the shed that I can never remember which ones I have. But I don't remember the one with just the big freeze on it. So I got that. Uh, Junior for my next Arnold lot, which is really not... <laughs> Not compared to most of them are always the action ones. Oh shoot, my phone is laying up here getting rained on. <laughs> I'm always worried about the sun and wanting to get rained on. Oh my, the storm is not going to be good. I may lose my electric. It's dark in the house, but I don't have any lights on. So Mom's going to be real upset if, uh, wow, the rain's getting all the way in here. Uh, yeah, this might be cut short. <laughs> I've got a sealed Star Wars, uh, the making of. I always buy these. I don't know. Someday you won't go get them anymore. Uh, downtown Lost, uh, Lost Dunkirk, New York. Kind of a specialty thing. I'll put it on for like 10 bucks. Uh, Atlanta.
am before time seven. I don't know if I have that. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of fours. Then it's just fill up my lot. I got two I love. Them. Okay, cut short, getting wet. <laughs> something to sit this camera on, but uh, you're not doing your job. Alright, why didn't I shut it off first, Leia? I'll use it for the outro. Alright, uh, noisy. Leia, are you going to photobomb me? Alright, the records. Music explosion, I don't know if you can even see this. Hold on. Start over. Okay. Uh oh, my dinner's ready. Hello? Yeah, I got my umbrella. I'm just finishing my video. I uh, would be over. Yeah, we don't. What? I'm gonna see if he can drag, bring over his uh, thing and straight yeah. my driveway. I'll tell you when I get over there. I'll see you here shortly. Alright. Alright, bye. Alright, let's lay my phone on a magnet speaker. Leia, come on, off my umbrella. Why, Leia? Alright, now we filmed all this and it's gonna look terrible and you're shutting rainwater off. You're bad, Leia. Let's start the record. Music explosion, just another uh, Commonwealth music. You know, it's kind of like a lot of good and blues disco stuff. Lily Tomlin, it's not really worth much, but you know, like put it in the dollar box. What the heck? I can't resist record. Another Lily Tomlin's had this one before. I didn't really listen to her. I always liked her. She was so pretty, but she always played ugly people. Ha! So, uh, found another Dick Hyman album. Played him on that last one of my other videos, but I used the, the center of another record, which I ended up selling, so I don't have that cool spiral center. Alright, gotta hurry up so I can go eat. Um, Adventures in Sound. Tinkle, Clang, Ring, and Chime. I didn't say who had made the ball or the recorded ball one. Frankie Lyman, Rock and Roll Party on Guest Star. That's pretty cool. It says, and selections by the Cliff Tones, the Heartbeats, Billy. There goes the electric once. Ah, there goes my computer, too. I'm going to have to restart. Ah, I don't know what it is out here. It's electric. They don't trim the trees. They leave it go. They give the consumer back 30 cents. Ah, oh, there it goes again. It's going to go out. Great. Oh, well. It was nice. At least my camera still works. Eddie Duquesne story, I don't know. Ah, oh, stop! Uh, I finally bought it because Kim go back. This one was a nice cover. Last time I pop sampler. Just, I like the girl on the cover. A little bit of cheese. Uh, what do we got left? Not too much. So we're almost done. And I probably won't be able to make my video because I won't be able to start it and have the electric go off. Classic, classical music for people who hate classical music. How's that? I hope this looks good. It's all in a uh, Listen today, the worst day. It's a foreign job, similar to that one I didn't get last night. This is from, uh, looks like it's almost from a box set. Thin, but it looks like it should have another cover over it. Uh, let's see where it was made. The six eye though, which is pretty darn cool. Um, it says made in the USA. It must be like, I don't know why it's on paper, too. Maybe it's not because they don't survive, but that's a pretty nice shape. Yeah, if I get this sticker off, can you even hear me? It's pretty loud out here in these rhinos. Got I uh, got myself another Hawaiian album. It's not probably guitar oriented, but uh, I'll give it a listen. It's got a beautiful cover, a beautiful girl on there. Talking as a lonely old man living in the country. Uh, <laughs> cut. Alright, uh, nah, listen to it. It's good, I'll keep it. If not, it'll go on my flea market and stuff. Stereo sounds. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, jets, railroad, ship, surf, traps. Yeah. Traps? Who's traps? 
seen an army like that. I don't know, but Zach's got a jet flying. Sound, stereo sounds. Doesn't really say what's all on here. I have to look at the thing. Let's see. Uh, Rondolette. So like Rondo. It doesn't say anything. Just trap and traps and sea sounds. And this site's trains, jets, and ships. Interesting. Well, that's it. That's all I got. I wish I would have done a video on my flea or er, whoa, yard sale finds, but I did not. Wow. So, if I survive the storm, talk again sometime. I want to film the babies. <laughs> hey, hey, feisty. Hi, beautiful. What are you doing down there? Ow, oh, don't bite your mother. How about you? What are you getting out of the box? Cause you're, aww, Mr. Sad Face. Who's beautiful? Aww. One left. You want to come out and say, aww, Minnie Rose, why? <laughs> oh, well, if you're seeing this, the video must have worked, and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Oh, my God. Oh.